Uh, Beale was a very popular figure in the backroom staff of Stephen Gerrard in Gerrard's time as manager up there. Thereafter, they, they, Gerrard went to Aston Villa. Uh, Mick Beale carried on to Queen's Park Rangers. So why, why would it be that he might view Rangers as a bigger opportunity than Wolves, Simon? He might prefer going back to Scotland as opposed to, to heading to, to <coughs> the Premier League as he had the opportunity to do just weeks ago. Yeah, I mean, my view was at the time, and I remain in that position, that he has um, a relationship with Queen's Park Rangers, a job to do there, and he hasn't earned his stripes, and so he shouldn't be subsequently just walking out the door at an opportunity that he thinks is best for him. Now, that was slightly... Um, uh, reduced by the position that he took with Wolverhampton Wanderers. So I was very surprised um, that he had made that decision because my last thoughts when we heard that Wolverhampton Wanderers had wanted to talk to him, that he'd be gone. And he came out and said his piece. And I was very pleasantly surprised and, 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 and appreciative of it because so many managers wouldn't do that. So nothing's really changed. Now, the landscape is, of course, we can make a backstory and say he was assistant manager at Rangers. He knows the landscape there. He knows what that club involves. It's a huge opportunity. But a huge opportunity is managing in the Premier League for a club like Wolverhampton Wanderers that have got significant backing, that have gone for a former national team manager in, in Lupatagi to take over that particular club. And I'm perplexed why you would want to be so strident in your view about integrity and 35 days later, or 40 days later, or 35 days later, that's now changed. Well, having said that, and I underline this, Simon, there's no suggestion yet that he, he, he is saying yes to uh, oh. talking to Rangers. Okay, well, let's qualify but you them. you have to think it might be. Let's qualify it then. If he makes the decision to go to Rangers, then everything I said five weeks ago would be exactly the same now in my attitude that it's yet another example of a manager. And I did say at the time that I'd be surprised if he didn't go to Wolves. I was very pleasantly surprised that he didn't. I listened to his little soliloquy about integrity and enjoying himself here and having a job to do. I remarked on social media that I hope that Sod's Law doesn't kick in and he doesn't lose the next game straight out of the bag, and he didn't. He's then gone on to lose the next four or five. Uh, people will say, well, perhaps he could be facing some pressure from QPR in, in a couple of games' time if he doesn't win those games. But the bottom line is, is that going to Rangers, to me, is a, is a very risky job because Celtic have got such a hold at this moment in time in that league. Postacoglu is in such good nick. The difference between Celtic and Rangers is not insignificant. And it goes back to my original position that these bloody managers need to earn their stripes. And they shouldn't just be jumping at the first opportunity. Now, something at Wolverhampton Wanderers, by the very nature of what you would join up backwards now, uh, you know, something at Wolverhampton Wanderers conversation with Bill couldn't have clicked. And it was seemingly nothing to do with this position of I want to stay at QPR. Yeah, it was probably yeah. something in the dialogue between him and Wolves. Now, I hope I'm wrong again. I hope I get proved to be wrong again. But I think probably this time you'll find himself out the door. I hear what Rangers. you're saying. I hear what you're saying. But here's the thing. I mean, being from that part of the world, and I know that club, many would argue Rangers is a bigger club than Wolves. Well, now, I might be one of them. Well, some would argue. Mick some, Beale would probably be one of them. Some would argue that or might be. Some would argue that Celtic are a bigger club than Leicester, but it didn't stop Brendan Rodgers leaving Celtic quicker than a quick thing from Quickland when the Premier League club came to offer him a job, did it? You 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 try to get into the Premier League. That's the place that they all want to manage. Wolverhampton Wanderers are no slouches. They're a good side. They're having a little bit of a funk at this moment in time, but they will be after players in January. They've gone and got a national team manager, an elite team manager. Now he might not have pulled up any particular trees at Seville and was having a difficult time there, but I suspect Wolves will probably regain their poise. You get Premier League jobs. Sean Dyche was talking about this window of opportunity and being prepared. Sean Dyche, a pseudo-established Premier League manager, looks across potentially and feels that the window of opportunity to stay in the Premier League is still here for him. Now, maybe Michael Beale sees that, and we're, all, we're speaking in advance of what he might do, and he might surprise us. Yeah. Maybe he sees Rangers as the perfect opportunity to build his credentials. I think it's fraught with risk, because he's going to have to do a hell of a lot with Rangers to regain the position at Celtic. And we know, we know from Gianni Van Bronckhorst, doesn't matter what currency he had, he got him to a European final. Within three months of him coming back on the back of that, Celtic are running away again, and boom, he's gone. Sure. Well, it is believed that uh, Beal will be approached, uh, following an approach from Rangers to Queen's Park Rangers. We'll see that in the fullness of time. Uh, before we hit the half ten break, half one out here, you ever had multiple approaches for a manager no. in your time at Palace? No, no. I mean, I had. Nobody uh, approached you and then go, go away and then came back. No, tragically, when managers, when, 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 specifically in instance of Steve Bruce, the club that approached him 
or approach me and were told to go forth and multiply. You know, the manager did his little bit um, and we ended up having to injunct him. But the bottom line is it, it tends to be, uh, if, if a club's coming for your manager, it tends to be that that club feels that it has the lure and the ability to get that manager. And then you're reliant on that manager to behave himself in a decent fashion. I've never seen a guy, a br I've never seen a guy come out and say, I'm my integrity is not to be questioned. I've got a job state at Rangers and then potentially Q QPR this is and then potentially five weeks later, oh, you know, that integrity was for then. This is something different now.